What do the Spice Girls, Kylie Jenner, and Joe Biden all have in common? They can all be found at the East Village Bakery Cupcake Market, where today they're turning me into a cookie. So we're here today to get a custom face cookie, but we've got to talk about where it all began, the candidate cookies surrounding the 2016 presidential election. Yep. Where did that idea come from? Oh my God, I think uh, we were about to open the bakery and it was two weeks before and uh, literally I just had this picture in my head that a face should be on a cookie. Since um, political season was so hot, we decided to go with Trump Bernie and Hillary just to have it on our opening day for a fun little thing and it turned out to be um, a huge part of the business. Once you had the idea, what was the trial and error process to get the cookies looking the way that you wanted and has that process sort of evolved over time? Oh my god, so much, so much. Um, sometimes I get so upset that Back then, we didn't know the things that we know now because we work with a type of icing called royal icing, which is um, super delicate. Um, before, we would just print out a picture of, um, let's say, Hillary, and we put parchment paper on top, and uh, we would do the royal icing on top of that, and then we would try to like slit off the icing and after it hardened and attach it to the cookie, and it's so delicate, like even if you press down on it, it would crack. Now we have it where we have like custom cookies templates made where we could just ice the icing right on top of the cookie. So I've seen a lot of different versions of novelty cookies, but what really sets these apart is not only the subject matter, but the execution and the fact that they're hand painted, almost like edible caricatures. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide to go the hand painted route? Oh my God, if there was a machine that could do this, totally go for it, but there is just no way a machine could do what we do. It's a team of five of us that, um, that all work really hard painting the cookies and there's just no way a machine could do it. Given the popularity of the candidate cookies, you eventually branched out into celebrity faces. And yeah. over the years, you've made everyone from Kanye to Princess Diana. So how do you choose which face to frost next? Uh, we usually choose who's ever hot right now, whoever we think would sell the most. If it were up to me, I would love to do uh, Wes Anderson cookies and um, I don't know, maybe Casablanca cookies, but um, that's just not our clientele. So. Definitely who's ever hot right now. Who is your favorite and most challenging cookie to create and who is your all-time bestseller? I love the Joe Biden cookie. Um, I just think he's awesome as a person and he just has a great smile. So he's definitely my favorite cookie. The most challenging cookie, for some reason it was Beyonce, um, just cause she has so many different looks and styles. Uh, it was hard to pick out the perfect look that shows Beyonce. And best seller from day one is Kim Kardashian. Yeah, mm -hmm. the crying face. Oh yeah, everyone loves it. Yeah, everyone takes pictures of them crying with the cookie, so. Have any of the celebrities that you've made into cookies ever come in to buy themselves? <laughs> um, yeah, we've had some um, funny stories. Uh, Ross from Friends actually came into the store once and he didn't know we had these cookies and we happened to have a Rachel and Ross cookie and we're like, we don't know how to tell you this, but we kind of have a cookie of your face. <laughs> and he was so nice. He really loved the cookie, so we gave him a cookie. And um, yeah, we've had a few celebrities come and really love the cookies, so. Let's talk cookies by the numbers. How many do you make in a day? How quickly do they sell out? And how many celebrities are available at any given moment? In the beginning, it was just me doing the cookies, so I was able to make maybe 20 a day. Um, now there's like six of us making it, so it's usually a two-day process. Two artists could work on 40 to um, 80 cookies out a day. Selling-wise, it's always different. Like the weekends, we usually sell out. Um, we sell out of a cookie and early on in the day, then 
we might not have her until like four days later. So it definitely depends which day you come in. But you always have Kim. Always have Kim, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So your newest rendition is the custom face cookie. Mm -hmm. So if people want to get one for themselves, there is a little bit of prep time involved. So how long does it take to prep the design and what do you need to turn a person into an edible version? Right, so like um, like we did with you, we uh, you sent us a, a gorgeous picture of yourself and uh, I did a sketch of it and I send it back to you and you approved it and after we get your approval, we just start doing the cookie and it's usually 10 days notice we need. So if for some reason you don't want your own face, you can actually request a celebrity cookie. So what celebrities have you gotten requests for in the past? Um, let's see, Kourtney Kardashian, Biggie Smalls, um, Martha Stewart, Ina Garden, how crazy can you sort of get with it? Can you be wearing accessories? Are we making faces? Good question. We love it when people send us like really fun pictures. Like we once had a guy um, screaming once, like his mouth was wide open. Those are our favorite to do. I think it's safe to say that these cookies have officially gone viral. They've been on everything from Late Night with Seth Meyers to Elle magazine. So in order to keep up with demand, you now employ several cookie artists. But today we're gonna go OG Cupcake Market and you're actually going to show us how it's all done. Yeah, let's do it. Whether you're a celebrity or not, all of the cookies start out the same way. Custom cookie cutters are made from Sarah's playful sketches and then stamped into a sugar cookie base, outlining the face and defining the different color buckets for the piped on icing. So this is a uh, royal icing. You basically make it just with a uh, confection sugar, water, uh, and meringue powder. What I first do, I just outline the hair so it builds like a little bit of a wall. Coloring is actually, I, mean, I think, is the hardest part about these cookies because it's just so difficult looking at a picture and trying to get the right color to match someone. Then I'm gonna just do the eyebrows, which is super easy. And then the eyelashes, it's just usually one line. Usually with royal icing, you don't wanna do any colors that are next to each other until they're dry because the colors will mix. Um, but usually, like in five minutes, the outer layer usually builds a little bit of a wall. And this white frosting I'm using, I didn't add in a lot of water, so it's gonna dry a lot faster. So with that, I could probably do um, the next part, which is right next to it. It probably won't really mix. Usually I let that dry and then but I already pre-made a dry version of this, and usually- TV magic. TV magic, exactly. <laughs> it usually dries overnight, so right now, it's like super rock solid. This thing actually, it works just like glue. If um, It's super hard, so um, yeah, I could go on doing the lips for Kim. The next part, I'm actually gonna show you guys how we um, mix the colors in. All of the colors are hand tinted with skin tone being the hardest to match. Color is pumped up little by little until the desired shade is reached. For Kim K, Sarah eyeballs the recipe with a mix of peach and ivory. But for some cookies, the goal is that perfect shade of presidential orange. Do you do just peach for Trump? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, a customer came in and asked if he tastes like oranges, but <laughs> I was like, that's a really good idea. Once she's happy with the color, the consistency is watered down so the icing will appear seamless. So once I outline um, the eyebrows, the eyes, I could just kind of fill in and guide the frosting to the edges. It's funny how it all just kind of like moves together. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> There's so much science with this icing. If you go on, um, on Instagram, you could see people get so creative with it. It's really cool. What occasions do you find people doing the custom ones for? Like a lot of weddings or birthdays oh, or just for yeah. fun? Oh, yeah. Um, definitely a lot of weddings for sure. I'm trying to think. Valentine's Day was very busy, I have to say. It was a lot of couple cookies, which were a lot of fun. And we actually just started doing um, dog custom cookies. Oh, that's so, gotta be popular. Yeah, that's been fun. Is that harder or easier than the people cookies? Oh my God, um, harder for sure. Cause um, dog cookies, they have like a bunch of layers. So a lot of time that needs to dry. Yeah, then after this dries, um, it will kind of look like this cookie. 
The Royal Icing Foundation sets overnight and then it's passed off to one of the cookie artists for the intricately painted details. Sarah's sketch is placed in a projector and then scaled to fit over top of the sugar canvas. Although the sketch is used as an outline, the artist also references the original photo for color and dimension while working on each unique face. And although it might look like paint, gel food coloring is watered down to make sure the palette is fully edible. And I start with the eyes. I like to do like a light wash so that we can build on top of it and it looks more realistic. We try and make it look like the real person, less of a cartoon. How long does it take to paint each face? It depends on like how long we've been doing it. So the customs can take a while because we're trying to like figure out how to make it look best. But like the ones we do all the time, the Kims and the Trumps, we get used to it. So it could be like eight minutes to I'd say 15 minutes. Much like Sarah, most of the cookie artists have a background in fashion design, art, or illustration from Pratt & Parsons. But even veteran artists can get thrown by Cupcake Market's Cookie Challenge. The interview was actually, she just handed us a cookie and said, all right, go for it. Which one did you get? I got um, Kylie, and I was so nervous, my hands were shaking. I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh, how am I gonna make a good painting when my hands are shaking like this? But you passed. I passed the test. Have you seen anyone come in and interview and didn't pass the test. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard. It's harder than you think. And like all the cookie artists are great and make it look really easy, but it is hard to do. What's the training process like? Um, the cookie artist that works there before you basically just sits you down and tells you the process. And Sarah like gives you some advice and basically you just paint. It like comes pretty naturally to some people. So if you got it, you got it. All right, so looking a little cross-eyed right now, <laughs> which happens, but we are able to fix it. The low viscosity of the royal icing can cause it to move as it settles. Since most of the features are hand painted, the cookie artist can slightly tweak the design to correct any icing mishap. Usually we have like three pictures that we look at to like use as a reference just in case the sketches don't really line up anymore. And then if like there's too much water on the brush and it drops onto the cookie, it really is ruined in a second. So you really have to be careful. And so like when you do your makeup. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going back in now on the eyes and adding the dimension to the sides. And then we'll let that dry and paint the hair and then we'll come back. All right, that is done. Awesome. Sweet. She told me don't worry.